Good morning, everybody. We're out here at the range today, <laughs> and I, I, I can't help but look at this and laugh. This, this is just too funny to me. What you're looking at here is the Heritage Arms, Heritage Manufacturing. This is the Heritage Rough Rider 22. <laughs> and, and you see this barrel. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just that long. Look at this. It is that long. This is just amazing to me. It's hilarious. Every time I look at this gun, I have to giggle. I just think it's just it's just that giggle worthy. It's not laugh out loud. It's just giggle worthy. Anyway, Heritage recently opened a plant in Bainbridge, and that's where this one comes from. And one of the greatest things about the Heritage is that it comes with two different cylinders. You get the 22 regular, and you get the 22 WMR or the 22 Magnum cylinder. You can fire both, not at the same time, of course. But you can fire both out of the same gun. Now, how cool is that? Now, they came out with this model here. I'm going to call it the bunt line because that's really what it is. It's a bunt line. Just show you again how long this barrel is. That's a whopper, isn't it? <clears throat> but it's the bunt line from the Colt bunt line, which was the 45 LC with the really long barrel. Now, this one is advertised at 16 inches. But the reality is the barrel is 15.99 inches just a hair under that 16 inch mark so that it won't be classified as a rifle and it also gets around some of the other states with some restrictive gun laws because you can do it that way but anyway we're going to fire this sucker up in just a few minutes and we're going to take a couple of shots with it and just see how it works this ought to be fun stay with me all right a couple of things that make this gun <clears throat> i'm not going to say unique but certainly unusual in the world of revolver it has a safety. Flip the little thing down, and you have to flip this down to fire. If you flip it up, it's on safe. There's a transfer bar in there that comes down that will prevent, or goes up that will prevent the gun from firing. So, fix and take a couple of shots, six. We've got some 22 shorts hollow point lined up in here, got six of them. We're gonna put this thing down range and see what she'll do with 22 shorts. Okay, that was essentially shooting a cap gun. These 22 shorts have zero recoil in this firearm. They just don't. Those were hollow points from CCI. They're higher powered, so they're not subsonic, but it's still a hoot to shoot. Now, you notice I didn't have a target. I'm not out here today looking for accuracy. I'm strictly out here today just to shoot it and get a feel of it. This is a six shot revolver. I've got 22 long rifle loaded in it. You're gonna probably notice a good bit of difference in the sound. And I'm wondering if there's gonna be any recoil at all. This is, as you would note, cause of the barrel length here, a whole lot heavier than a standard heritage revolver, which comes out to about right here. I mean, you got another 10, 10 or 12 inches, or depending on your model, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 inches of steel sticking out on the end of the thing. And it weighs it down on the end, keeps it keeps it the barrel from jumping so much, if it would anyway, and it adds weight to the gun. All that does affect the recoil. Let's take a couple of shots. This is a single action revolver, got a cock the hammer for each shot. And just to show you, on safety, will not fire. Flip the little switch down. We're hot. Had a couple of misfires in there. Don't know why. Certainly not the fault of the revolver. I did pick up a box of old ammunition, and that could be the problem. Anyway, you notice there was a good bit more sound to that one than in the 22 shorts. And if you're sensitive enough, you could actually feel recoil on that one. And the one thing I do want to show you, let's see if the camera can pick it up. And you flip the safety. All right, safety. Now... I'm going to flip it and see if you can see. 
the hammer. See the hammer moved about a centimeter? That means it's engaged. Show you on this side. Hammer's gonna move. On safe, ready to fire. On safe, ready to fire. All right. One question people generally want to know about this revolver is if I got the 22 mag cylinder in it, can I shoot 22 long rifle longs and shorts? Yes, you can. And it's been my experience in shooting this type revolver because I've got another one with both cylinders that the accuracy really drops when you're shooting the 22 long rifle or short or 22 long out of the magnum cylinder. There is a case difference between the two. I'll have a link in the article explaining that. But yeah, you can shoot both, but it's just not gonna be as accurate. So now we're loaded up. We got us some 22 mags in here and I'm gonna see what she does. I'm expecting a lot more recoil noise. I'm expecting more blowback out of the cylinder. I felt a little bit in the 22 long rifle, felt nothing out of the 22 shorts. I'm expecting more. And I'm also expecting to actually have some, not appreciable, but you're going to know you've been shooting a pistol with these 22 mags. Here we go. You do have to take the safety off. Folks, I don't know. I just don't know. I've never had this problem out of a heritage before, and this is new ammo. This being a single action, it does have the load slot. I'm checking now to see if I got a primer strike on all of them. I do. Looks like a good primer strike. It's hitting right there on the edge. That one's a little bit light. Let's see what we got. Oh, got an empty one. All right, anyway. That's the Heritage Arms 22. <laughs> I just, I can't get over the barrel leg on this. Anyway, <laughs> the Heritage Arms 22 with the Magnum Cylinder. Y'all be safe.